Hey y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home, and I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. I was super excited to get on here tonight and be with y'all. I don't know how many of y'all um, saw on the group that's connected to this page, but we opened a virtual store today, and hey Marnie, I miss you. Good to see you. Anyway, it, it's gone over really well. It's gone over really well, and I've been super, super pleased with the results. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, take a minute to go over to the group after this video, don't miss the video, and see what I'm talking about. It, the group is um, Southern Crush Store, and then I think it says Pop-Up experience, Shopping Experience, something like that. Hey Monica, hey Myrna, guys don't forget to say hey when you hop on and let me know where you're watching from if you're new and share the video. And speaking of share, oh let me just finish. So the store opened today, it's a pop-up store so it's only going to be open today through Sunday. Alright, so today through Sunday and then we're, we shut it down. So it'll be open once a month. And you can shop on there. It's free shipping and get all sorts of good stuff. It's very limited right now as to what's in there because it was the first month for us to do it. So I appreciate everybody's grace with that. And we are taking feedback and comments about it so that um, we can build it how you want it. Okay? All right. So speaking of sharing, I had a couple people ask about who won... Uh, what prizes on what videos? Like, like when did that all happen? So what I do is I private message people and I let them know they won and I get their mailing address from them so that I can send them what they won. And so I was just gonna do a little shout out. Hey, Krista, long time no see. And I was gonna do a little shout out for the ladies who were one of the pre some of the previous winners. So Cindy Davenport, she won the canvases from the porch pillows. Uh, Lene Steele, she won the little flowers with the little bling in the middle. And then Darlene Henderson, she won the cute little dish towel. We had Cheryl Gonzalez and she won the oven mitt uh, with the sugar cookies uh, mix. And then Cindy Cooper Bates, she won the tassel materials to make her own wooden tassel. And then we had LaRonda Frazier. She won the heart chalk couture sample. So yay, congratulate those ladies um, when you see them on here. And you could be next. We're gonna be doing a share contest tonight and we are gonna be giving away some more of the paste. And I have these little, I didn't bring them over here, but these little, um, hey Miranda, you were a winner too. <laughs> so um, it's a little circle, a chalkboard circle. They're so cute to make, uh, speaking of, magnet for your fridge. And you can put a little bit of uh, chalk on it and then I'm gonna give you a heart transfer so that you can practice and play with it, see if you like it. So that's what we're doing for the share contest. Hey, Miss Stacy, I can't wait, y'all. I haven't gotten to tell y'all this. I am so excited. I am so honored. I am so humbled. I get to go and do a craft over on Miss Stacy's page. It's called Wilshire Collections. If you haven't gone and checked her out, you need to do so. And I will be sure to share it over here as well so that you guys can watch the craft but I can't wait to share with all her people too. So let's get busy started with tonight's project because it's gonna take me a little while. There's gonna be some drying time and things like that. So I started with this little heart. It's not even that little, it's kind of big. And this is from uh, the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. So we're gonna start by taking off this yucky red, red ribbon and I'm just gonna cut it off. Oh, Myrna, you watch her. Yay! And Stacy, yes, can't wait. Stacy Collins. Hey, Jane Ann, how are you today? All right, so got rid of that. And then I am left with this, all right? 
I am tempted to fill these holes just because, and I'm gonna just attempt to, all right? I'm gonna fill them with a little bit of glue from the glue gun and see if that, if that works. So I'm making a little bit of a mess, but, hmm. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Okay, so you have to prime your glue gun to get it started. And get the glue stick down there in it. All right, so I just wanted to try to fill these holes well, good. And so I went ahead and put some glue down in there. I'm gonna wipe it a little bit just so that it's um, flush and that worked. I don't want a big hump. I just want the hole filled. So that worked. The next thing I'm gonna do is get busy painting. All right, we're gonna be doing lots of painting tonight. Yes, Susie, I'll put a link to the cordless glue gun on the page after this, okay? It's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna be using some materials tonight from a maker's studio, all right? This is an awesome, awesome company. What am I doing here? I'm gonna, pay. oh, what am I doing besides losing it? Okay, I am gonna start with white. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Lisa. How are you? And I am just going to, uh, I thought I was just going to quickly, I think I got the wrong, I got the wrong paint, y'all. So do y'all want to hang tight? Can y'all hang tight for me? Let me run, go get my, my correct paint. Hold on. I'm back. I don't know if y'all could see my dog, but she totally came in here. <laughs> hey, Ashley, how are you? How's the baby? Oh, I hope she's good. Her little baby turned one. I think it was yesterday. All right, I'm just trying to see y'all because I'm trying to compare that. I'm trying to do two contrasting colors and I really thought I had it figured out. It would have been nice to have it figured out. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the color I already had out. So this is paint, it's chalk paint, and I am going to go ahead and rinse out the brush even though I'm sure I'm messing it up. Rosina, I can't see the first part of your question. Oh, you like the love pillow? Oh, and I turned it upside down. It was defluffing, y'all. It was like, um, you know, where one side was getting squished at the bottom. So, what are y'all doing tonight? I am going to paint. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint this gray right quick for us and if you've not used this makers studio paint it is amazing y'all it smells like I don't know I can't put my finger on it some sort of light baby powder smell it's so strange like I've never smelled paint like this before oh you're resting Lene I need to rest. I need to join you. I hear a weird beeping noise. Berkeley, what is that noise? Okay. So my daughter's still sick. Oh, hey, Vanessa. 
How are you? I was so excited to get to watch you uh, the other night when you did your live gnome making. How many of you guys have seen those gnomes? Gnomes are like all the rage. I did gnomes for Christmas. Anyway, Vanessa is like a superstar now. She did um, a craft over on our coach, Brooks Page, and it went over wonderfully. It was so cute. Um, and her her um, page is called Owl Be Crafty. So if you haven't gone over to see Owl Be Crafty and watched Vanessa do a project, you need to hop over there and say, hey, she would love to have you. I'm going to have to see if I can help her. All right, y'all, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just, hello, not even showing you. Just getting a coat of paint on there because it's gonna be covered with a stencil, okay? And if this doesn't, I'm gonna get it all over me because a mess is best. A mess is best. I hope it dries. I hope it dries for us. Yes, you're welcome. You love them. I'm making some this weekend, Lisa. Awesome, you'll have to show us what you make. I'm gonna start doing a thread like that. How many of you guys make stuff? Do you guys make stuff? I can do a weekly thread that says, show me what you made. And that would be pretty fun. Okay, that's a little messy where that glue gun hole filler went but that's okay. It looks like Tina saw Vanessa's video on the gnomes. Okay. I think this is about painted or as painted as it's gonna get. So this is the heart. I didn't think about how I was gonna hold it before I took those strings out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry it like this. So Myrna, you made wreaths and some table stuff. And Lisa, you make lots of things. Debbie, you are watching from Windy Icy, Michigan. I used to have family in Michigan. Then they moved to Washington. So, I know it's cold up there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead while this is drying and get, get the next part started. This is gonna be interesting why this won't. Oh, cause the glue is there. I was like, why won't that take? It'll be fine. What do you call it when it doesn't do right? It's distressed. It's distressed. All right, so I'm rinsing the brush out. Terry, every, or Terry, Terry and Lee. So I'm thinking you are Terry. Terry, everyone has talent. I just don't wanna get on a soapbox here real quick, but I just want you to know that God created all of us to be creative. That's why we all wanna do things creative at some point, okay? The creator, created us to be creative. So whether we show that in one way or another, it's totally up to us. Everybody shows it in different ways. So this is the, um, the Buffalo check stencil from, I call it a stencil. It's a transfer, they call it a mesh stencil. Yeah. Anyway, it's this one, it's from a maker studio. Yeah, mesh stencil is what they call it. And I liked this one um, because it has the smaller checks and we're working with a smaller um, project, so I want it to be small. Hey, Lisa Ray, today you cut out 11 table runners and hoping to have them done by Monday. Well, that will be awesome. 
Are you having an event or what are the table runners for, Lisa? Okay, I'm gonna open this up, pull it out. It's got a backing. If you guys were late hopping on, when we started, we talked about the new online store that we opened over on the group. And then um, we talked about who all won the prizes so far for the share contests. I am drawn, look at that light. It's like lightning. Um, oh, Terry's your husband, you Lee. You guys have awesome names and I can't know who's who. Awesome. Oh, just for your kids and grandkids. All right. Well, that's awesome, Lisa. I admire anyone who can sew. Are you sewing those table runners? I mean, I can sew. In fact, I keep begging my daughter to let me show her. I'm like, let me show you how to sew. I just think it's something you should all learn. Okay, y'all, this is drying, but it's not drying that fast. And I don't really want to go get my blow dryer because it's loud and because I don't want to leave y'all again. I've already left y'all once. Oh good, you are sewing it. Well, thank you, Marina, for sharing. Um, I appreciate it. And you guys are gonna be entered to tonight's drawing for sharing. You've been working on some spring arrangements, Susie. Hey, Miss Amy, what are you doing watching? You should be out celebrating with Mr. Willie. That's my friends from high school, guys, and it's his birthday. All right, so if you're just hopping on here, I am desperately just trying to get this heart a little bit more dry. You can see kind of where the wet spots are. It's almost dry. It doesn't have to be bone dry. I just want it a little more dry. Hey, Becky, thanks for sharing. Tina, how's the online sale going? I was mentioning that at the beginning of the video. The online sale is going awesome. We've sold out of a couple things already and that of course is gonna happen because some of the things are one of a kind, like literally. Like I went and got them at a flea market and there was only one of them. So there's that, almost dry. You were wondering, Rosina, how the, the maker stencil looked, and you're glad I'm using one so you can see how it works, yes. And it won't let me see the rest of the comment, but um, for now. But yes, this is how they look. And uh, what I did find was they are a little less sticky than some of the others. And so you don't really have to do the whole sticking it on your shirt first, so. You went to eat, but you're sick. Amy, what do you have? Do you have the flu? Um, thanks, Candy, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lee, for sharing. I appreciate it. See, I'll always know that you're Lee now. All right, y'all, this is just about there. You can kind of see. It looks like it's not covered, but really that is the wet parts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this started so we can go get going on it that's what i'm saying so we're going to use the maker studio chalk art and this is their version of like a white so <laughs> it looks like that inside <laughs> it smells like nothing oh you just have a cold Sometimes colds can be just as bad as anything. I just think being sick is not good. So, all right, I'm just gonna use this little squeegee. Um, they give you this spatula thing. I have used my spatula on things before, but I'm just gonna use this because this one is um, long ways. This one is long ways, and um, I'm gonna be going across a big section. Hi, Cheryl. How are you tonight? We are just making, actually, I haven't told y'all what this is. This is a, it's gonna be a refrigerator magnet. So it's gonna be a big one, all right? It's gonna be a heavy duty one that I'm gonna use 
I'm just peeling this off. I'm gonna use it because um, it's Valentine's and because we're always needing magnets. And I'm trying to make it not real Valentine's-y so I can keep it up year round. So I'm not gonna undo this entire stencil from the backing because I only need to put a little bit down on the heart. So I'm gonna kind of place it on the heart or I might be lying, I might, I might end up, um, I might end up going ahead and taking it off. Y'all know me in stencils. I mess them up and they stick. They stick together and then there we are. So I'm really literally just laying this down on the heart, okay? I'm gonna show y'all what I did. So the heart's back there and then I'm just going to squeegee on the paste. I'm trying not to push it down too, too hard because it is still wet a little bit. Um, hello. I hope you can see this. I don't know. Yes, keeping it real, Lene, for sure. So I'm just kind of stirring this and then I'm just gonna lay it on here. And I'm not gonna be thorough with it because I don't really want it every single wear. Is that a word, every single wear? So I am just laying this down on this with the squeegee. And you know what, I actually ended up putting it every single wear. So there's that. I lied. Put it everywhere, but not on purpose. You can make it look distressed by putting on less or more of the paste in certain spots. So you would just skip over certain spots. Do y'all know how hard it is just to chat to yourself? Because I wish I could hear y'all and we could have a real conversation. <laughs> you know what? I might do that. We might start doing live crafts where everybody can join in. Would you guys like that? So I think how that would look would be, I could like send you the craft ahead of time and then we could all get on video, whoever wanted to, where you could just watch and um, do the craft together. Crafting live, I think that would be awesome. Instead of just me crafting. Okay, y'all, I pretty much have this covered. All right, it is what it is. And then I'm gonna take the excess, wipe it off into the jar so I don't waste it. And then that's that. Let me get the lid on. Call me, let's do it, Stacy. Yes, yes, Janice. Oh, Susie, it would be awesome. Everybody's saying yes. So maybe we'll make it happen. So here we are. Ah, here's the heart. I'm going to peel off the transfer now so that we can see what we've got. It's a little difficult when you don't have anything to grab onto. And it's backwards for me. Okay, there's our heart so far. You really can't screw up with Buffalo check. <laughs> it's just pretty. All right. So I'm gonna get make sure this is getting rinsed, y'all, because it looks like it's sticking to itself. That's what I'm famous for, having the stencil stick to itself. Okay, so it is over here in the water bath. You guys know I use a little casserole pan that I put everything in, just so that you can immediately start getting that paint and paste and ink off, depending on what you used. I'll show you. The 
this is where what it's in <laughs> it's kind of messy but I love the mess oh thank y'all thank y'all this would be a good time to share and you know what I got water on the project let me see about getting that off so it's really gonna look distressed now whatever oh well Cheryl if it's bleeding you it may have bubbles in it um, so this one do you see how it's distressed now because <laughs> the water fell on it it's fine so what I'm gonna do if you're it, the there's bubbles you have to get it really flat to stencil and if you're talking about regular stenciling regular stenciling is different because um, this is like screen printing okay there's like a small silk screen that's in the transfer so we are still going to put one more design on here before we fix it up so this is one more of the stencils that comes Oh, Stacy, I will show you before we get off of here. Don't let me forget um, how the phone is. You'll appreciate it. Um, okay, so this is another stencil, and this one is also from a maker studio, which, like I said, is on the site, southerncrushathome.com, under shop, and then you go to chalk paint. Or you can go to Southern Crush Store and... Um, no, Sherlan, this is not Chalk Couture. I have Chalk Couture, but this is a different company and it's called A Makers Studio. And I just like all the different things all the companies have. And this one just has a few different stencils and sayings, as well as it has some other mediums. It's got the gilding, so the foil, and fun things like that. They also have stamps. And I love the stamps. So we're gonna use the word family off here. Oh yeah, because that was what I put on the um, description of the video. So I'm just gonna cut the word family out. Oh, I can't tell where you, where you can see what I'm doing or not. Um, I'm just gonna cut the word family out because that's the one we're gonna use. Crystal, I um, signed up for both of them just for the discount, okay? So I got a kit from a Maker Studio and I got a kit from Chalk Couture because I actually really love both of them. And uh, so if you buy a kit from them, I think it's like $99, you get a ton of materials at a really good discount and then you get a discount on all of your stuff after that. But you can just buy, you can just buy stuff. So on my site, you'll see the choice of both. So I'm gonna stick the word family. This isn't that dry, but I'm gonna stick the word family, I believe right in the middle, the lower middle. And I'm just eyeballing this, y'all. So it's right here and I'm about to paint that red you make wreaths and signs hold on let me read what you said before it goes away um, and you would like different options yeah that's that's what I thought I was like I like all the materials so there you go um, okay this is a little bit messy so I'm gonna get some toothpicks out this is just a little way of getting it stirred up. Um, Stacy, they are, uh, I don't know, they're totally different. Um, they offer different things. So I don't know that there is a cheaper one of the two companies. Um, I believe both of their first kits are $99. So they're both the same there. Um, I'm just stirring this paint up. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Um, Shelly, the transfers that I'm using tonight are from A Makers Studio, and there's a link on my site. 
I will also put the link here. I have not yet learned how to pin a comment on my own video, but I'll learn that. There's just so many of all the things, so many of all the things. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this red, just gonna go for it and I'm just gonna put it down on family. Now, keep in mind, I don't have any red in my kitchen. I really don't have any red in my house, but this is a heart and it's gonna be on the fridge, on the side of the fridge for fall schedules. We have lots of fall in our house. I don't know, how about y'all? What's, what's on your fridge? Like what's in your wallet? Okay, so we're gonna pull this off. You need a big welcome and big hello transfer. Yep, yep, I think they have that. Y'all are seeing this before me. Okay, it says family, really, really cute. I'm gonna put the stencil over here in the water bath just so it can start getting the red off. Red's a really tough color to get off if you don't get it off right away. Okay, so that's over there. Now, it's gonna be drying while we do the next couple of parts. There's just a couple more parts. I know this one's kinda of going long tonight. Hey, my friend friend Jessica what are you doing how are you miss you okay so we are going to do two things still two quick things to this all right we are going to apply magnets these are from the Dollar Tree I have three left we are gonna apply magnets and we are gonna make a bow for it all right just because everything's cuter with the bow I think since I have to glue the magnets to the back I'm gonna wait while this dries a little more and make the bow for us so I was a little torn on what colors to use for the bow so I thought I would just play it by ear so here we go came right off all right so we are going to take our ribbon and I'm just this is just like um, buffalo check red and navy because I like it and I'm just gonna cut a few ah wrong scissors you got the paper ones and you got the material ones I'm gonna do several little chunks like this. Maybe one more set. Maybe one more set after that and that should be good. That'll be a pretty thick bow. to make it pretty similar okay what we're gonna do I hope you can see I can't even tell if you can see this is drawing this is over here I think you can see I, the comments cover up everything down here and I can't see what you can see so holler if you cannot see the bow I'm just going to lay these ribbons down and then I'm gonna crisscross them. And actually in no particular order, well, I say that, of course there's gonna be an order. Just every other one. And then I am going to tie them all together 
in the middle. All right, so we've got this and I'm gonna tie this in the middle. said that. Ah, I can't find which one I used to tie the bow. Okay. How do you know what you used? Oh, right here. So I'm going to tie it in another knot. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Susan. I appreciate it. All right. So this is our bow. It's just a little, little bow we're going to stick on here. Just to kind of make it cute. And you know what? I think... Ah, wrong scissors. Ah, you have an addiction to ribbon. It is really easy, y'all, to go overboard with anything craft-wise, all right? That's why all those funny memes talk about um, people having craft problems or never leaving Hobby Lobby. I'm just kind of trimming this up a little because I feel like it's a little bit big. And this would probably work a little better if I used at least one of these to be um, wired, but I didn't. So here's our bow, and I think this is dry enough. This is our magnet. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cute. I don't wanna flop it down completely, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these magnets going on here. So the magnets had the magnet on one side and then plastic, if we can make it see it, on the other. And that's the side I'm gonna be um, putting the glue on, all right? So I've got it down here because I'm multitasking, two hands. You can't see how I made the bow because of the comments. Oh, Tanya, for you on the comments, you can just swipe to the right and those comments will go away. Yep, just swipe to the right and your screen will be clear. And you can go back and watch it later as well. I'm just gonna put these magnets kind of on the two sides of the heart and then one at the bottom, unless y'all have a better idea of where to put the magnets. I'm just gonna press it a little bit in. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just gonna have to stick on the fridge. All right, this is the end of the magnets, and then we'll glue the bow on, and you guys will have seen the whole project. Oh, no, I was gonna show y'all how, how the TV, how the, uh, this is the magnets, this is the front. Now we're gonna put the bow on. I'm just gonna glue it to the top because, um, because I'm trying to cover up where I put the glue hole, the glue on the hole, because it kind of made a mess. But I don't know that it's gonna cover it. Oh, yay, Tanya, it worked for you. Oh, you have one in your cart. Wait for me, I'm gonna give you the link. Use my link. It doesn't cost you anything different and I benefit. And you'll get the exact one that I recommend because it'll be a direct link. Um, the glue gun though, to answer your question, sorry, it's <laughs> still glue gun. Um, it heats up on a, it's on a base. My dog is laying on the cord. It's on a base 
that is actually plugged in. So here's the gun, you take it off, put it back on, and then it's got this handy dandy thing that holds all the little extra. Sorry, telemarketers, y'all, I have been bombarded the last, th well, this whole week with telemarketers. Okay, so this is done. I want y'all to see it. This is the refrigerator magnet. I'll probably trim up the ribbon a little bit more to my liking, but yeah, this is um, gonna go on the fridge to hold up all the ball schedules. It's really big, so I meant for it to be, you know, a little bit Valentine's-y and to, I don't know, be neutral enough where it could stay up. Yes. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all for sharing. Again, the contest is going to go on just for the next 24 hours. I'm going to let the video rotate a little bit and everybody get a chance to share and then all the names will be entered to the random drawing and you guys can win some of this chalk paste with a little sample um, magnet thing that you can put on your refrigerator and it'll have a transfer. So it'll be fun. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. I'm going to show you real quick how um, messed up this camera setup is because she wanted to see. All right, I don't even remember who asked. Hold on. Okay, I think it'd be easiest just to flip the camera around, probably. Hold on. So there's what it sits in. It sits right in here in its lovely cage and I have I have the ring light over there and then um, what a mess <laughs> and then this light right here is extra because there's a big shadow on the other side and then um, yeah I have two things of tape in here that hold it up and there's a stack of plates down here I don't know if you can see them uh, wrong side stack of plates just to get it high enough. Um, it could have been books or anything like that. But um, yeah, and here's the transfers bathing, bathing, swimming in the um, water bath. There's my timer. I didn't use it tonight. Um, yeah, there's all of the stuff, all of the things and the glue gun. So, yeah, Stacy, it's funny, pretty funny indeed, but um, you asked, or whoever asked. So, I appreciate y'all, and I hope you have an awesome night. Oh, hello. Now I can't get it to set up. Anyway, you get the drift. We're done. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night. Bye.